Hello painters, I'm Debbie from acrylicpouring.com and I'm back today for a swipe painting. Now I had inspiration for this from a comment on my YouTube video. I had made one for a triple dirty pour, kind of like a sunset colours. It was yellows, golds, orange, reds and it wasn't an awesome painting, let's face it. However, a comment on there inspired me. The lady said, this would look great as a swipe. And I was thinking, oh, I should have swiped it. It would have looked great. And now I'm thinking, ah, but I can do even better or maybe worse. We'll see when the colors come out. So I'm gonna try and do a sunset swipe painting. And I have got some really nice colors, a chrome yellow, uh, a bright orange, quite a deep red, then a violet purple, a magenta, and of course a gold, because everything looks better with gold. However, I'm thinking from the paintings I've done in the past, when I've tried to swipe with a transparent color, sometimes it doesn't work out well, because as you um, swipe a transparent color over a darker or an opaque color, you get like a shadow underneath of where the other color is. So I'm thinking if I want yellow up at the top to be my swipe color over orange, which again I know is very transparent, that it might look a little bit odd. So this is just a small canvas today and I'm going to try and test this out and see if I can make it work by putting some white underneath that yellow. Um, and then if it does, then the colours will look great hopefully and um, I'll be able to do something like it on a larger canvas. So I'm going to lay out my colours. You don't really need to watch me do that in uh, real time because it's not going to be overly exciting. I'm just going to lay the colours out, put lots of gold in there because that's going to make me happy and then we'll come back and have a look at the swipe. Okay, so I have got a lot of paint on here. So I think um, things could get a bit muddy. We'll see what happens. I put the white up at the top and then I put yellow over the top. I'm gonna to put a little bit more yellow now, just as I get ready to swipe. And then hopefully the, um, the, the yellow that I used to swipe won't give quite that same um, shadowing that I get when I usually swipe with a transparent color. So let's give it a go and see what happens. I've got my little um, paint chip cards just here that I get from the DIY store and I'm going to try and gently swipe this yellow paint without hopefully um, disturbing too much of the white underneath because I only ideally want the yellow to be my swipe colour. So let's see how I get on with that. Okay, so far so good. Okay. I'm making sure to wipe off my card every time because as, as I go down, the card is picking up these other, other colors and I wanna make sure that I don't transfer them into the yellow up at the top there. Okay, so I think I've got most of my swiping done and let's take a look. There's a few little bits of white poking through up at the top through the yellow, but actually I don't mind that. I think it looks pretty good. And with the colors, well, I'm not sure if it looks like a sunset or not, but I actually think the colors look really good together and I'm really liking this. And I've gone back today to using my smaller paint chip cards. In a previous video recently, I did an entire swipe using a, a damp paper towel and got like a continuous swipe in one piece. But with this one, with the smaller cards, I've got these little, um, just the little breaks between the swipes 
and I actually like that I think it gives it a little bit more variety so I think this is pretty good now there's a lot of paint on here so I'm going to just give this um, a blast over with my torch and get rid of any air bubbles that might be in there So I did that from um, quite lightly and quite a distance away because I didn't actually want to use the torch to create or distribute or um, just change any of the cells because I like the design as it is. So it was just gently warming the paint to make the bubbles, if there are any in the paint, just come to the surface. So let's take a look. I've got a lot of spill around the side, which is fine. I'm gonna, there's the, the colors because it's a swipe, they've all been put on, um, kind of separately and so the paints around the side I think are going to look really great for using with the dip so I won't let any of that go to waste but I think I'm happy with the dip as it is. Now I could tilt at this point and stretch out these cells but I think the veining um, from the yellow in the colours and things here I really don't want to disturb and waste that. Um, if I tipped it a little bit more we could end up with the pink coming off the edge too and I think I'm happy with it as it is. So as much as sometimes I like to over fiddle with things, don't we all? I think I need to just step back, step away from the painting and call this one a day. So let me bring you down and show you some of the lovely details that we got. I think I'm going to be able to get some really great macro photos from this one. So wow, this is a stunner. I love these colours together. So I'm really um, holding my breath for when this dries because obviously with the, the yellow up at the top here, I know it's going to go really transparent. I've also already got some darker colours coming through here uh, but I hope by putting the white underneath that yellow that when the uh, the swipe dries hopefully I won't get too much shadowing I'll just get some really nice colours but we will see if that worked so down here I've got some really glorious pieces on this uh, painting absolutely love the way those colours have mixed together and the uh, the yellow made some really beautiful veining. The I think the bottom half of the painting is my favourite, where the yellow has made these kind of like electric, kind of almost lightning-like lines through all the other colours. And because it was quite heavy on the paint too, um, I've got a lot of it running over the sides that you see here and creating these kind of beautiful stripes that are going over the side of the painting. Also down at the bottom, where I've got some really nice designs coming off the edge there too. So I think. This one is pretty darn nice. I'm very, very happy with it. So I'm going to, um, uh, there's not going to be any time to show you the dried version of this because I think it's going to take a while. And obviously what I like to do is to dry them, then leave them a month, varnish and show you what it looks like. But I'm so behind on my videos at the moment that I haven't really got time to do that because I need to get, the, get this one up online for you shortly. So I'm just going to leave you with some um, views of this one wet. And then in a roundup video, I'll come and do something a little bit later on and show you what all of these will look like when they're dry. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you over at acrylicpouring.com very soon.